Good morning, Joe. We got Joe Tanzi from New Jersey. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. Doing great, Larry. And Joe, just for introduction, because this is going to go on YouTube and everything, right now you've been in business for about how many years? 17 years. 17 years, and you started as a single guy, and of course, in Primerica, and that's financial services for people who don't know, and you started as all alone with none of these skills and everything, and at this stage of your career, you've got the family, you've got the the great home, new dream home, dream life, dream business. Your income is up to what point now? Over 600000 600000 And you're at the point where you see the potential of the business, and you're ready to, you've mastered the business, you survived Hurricane Sandy and all of that, and you're, yep. you're at the point where you want to go through, from what I understand it, it's kind of like, now I'm not intrigued with the basics anymore. I want to go... How do I go beyond basics and where I've got to be like a chicken with my head cut off running around doing everything? How to go beyond the basics to where I can build a business, but not just a business, a big business. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely. That's that's what we want to talk about. Now, and the arena is when you start off, another way of saying this in in our terminology of exploding your business is like how do you go beyond the four-point game plan? How do you go beyond the do it yourself? Because the first step that most people see you've earned the right because you've mastered the you know the first steps and the first steps are becoming a pro you know you you work like a dog you have success you know you 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 know anybody who's talking about how hard they work is to me uh, I get a big yawn from that because that's just like a rookie who's learned that they're worried they're so proud of themselves because if they mention it it's because it's the first time in their life they've done it and they're just, they're excited that they're working hard, you know. And it is, it is a stage you go through to get to where you work hard on your own without anybody pushing you. But you, you, you work hard because you have a vision. You see the future. You never want to be under somebody else's thumb the rest of your life. You want to get ahead and you want to cram lots of activity in a short time frame. You don't need, you know, you're, you, you've, past the child, immature, undisciplined child stage to where you're doing this on internal motivation, you're doing it on your own, and you're working harder than anybody else would, would make you. But at some point, you get tired of that, don't you, Joe? Yeah, you do. And you're saying there's got, or I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it's kind of like you still want more. There's got to be more. And there's got to be more than you can get done yourself in 24 hours a day. Is that right? Yeah, I agree with you. So it comes into duplicating yourself. And people who want to get kind of foundational knowledge about this, I would refer you over to some of the videos we've done on growth comes in three stages, exactly how growth goes, how you duplicate yourself, why how it works conceptually breaking out of the 24 hours a day cycle, you know, step by step on that. But when you're in the middle of the, the fight, you don't have, it's the tyranny of the urgent. You want to escape the tyranny of the urgent. You want to go beyond being a firefighter who's just putting out all the urgent fires and having to leave the charge. Another way of looking at this, in my way of the way I look at this, how can you go beyond being Rambo yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To where, how can I become Schwarzkopf? The guy, however you spell Schwarzkopf. Sorry, Norman. Norman Schwarzkopf. You know, how can I get an army of 500,000 people with armies and air forces and air, Navy, aircraft carriers, and all of the technology, satellites searching, the, going around the globe that I can tap into and use all the state-of-the-art technology and coordinate my attack, and I can have a staff, I can have a bunker where we 
direct the armies and we win the war and I got coordinated attack with 500,000 people and and you know there's no war we can't fight there's no enemy we can't defeat John Rambo no matter how great he is one bullet or in his case one arrow from the enemy and there goes Rambo he's dead and so you want to build some layers of defense around yourself when you're out here no matter how good you are as an individual you're vulnerable like somebody wants to come in and attack you they can go right in and bam see that's if they want to get Rambo all they got to do is get in front of him and get a bullet or a knife or an arrow and he's gone and you always have enemies in life but over here Norman Schwarzkopf if you're Schwarzkopf he's got layers of people around him he's got bunkers he's got facilities he's got air forces and navies and this that and the other he's got all kind of stuff so if you want to get to Schwarzkopf good luck because he's got protection around him and as you get in business that's why you see companies diversify that's why you see like a McDonald's people get into McDonald's for example well they get one store but they know they're vulnerable in that one location an airplane could fall out of the sky and blow that up somebody could come in and rob that store and and uh, put you out of business however but if you've got more than multiple locations you're building layers around you they'd have you got a store in this side of the town and that side of the town and other states and then you go into multiple you expand your holdings to where not only McDonald's maybe you have some waffle houses and taco things and you can get a, people who like other kinds of foods and everything so you're building your net worth your protection in financial services with us it's not just investments it's not just insurance it's not just loans and you have multiple product lines you got multiple and you're not in one office with one or two people doing it. you got tons of people trained to do it in one location plus then you open up other locations and you got all kind of multiples like with me I'm in almost every state every product line and in multiple countries you know we're in Canada and every province in Canada and so to get to the point where you're out of business you have streams of income coming and people would have to basically drop nuclear warheads all over and wipe out all of the US and Canada to get to my particular income out of Primerica because it's so widespread and what you're saying is you know you can do this when you started Joe you didn't know you could do this did you yeah but now you know you can do this and it's like well I can keep doing it but the fascination comes from growing learning new things am I am I on the right track yeah you're on the right track and so as we were talking earlier before we got started you say like the areas of frustration come into what training like you know like how to train and how to duplicate yourself is that what you're looking at and what what are the problems that 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 you run into there why well, how do you do it faster and how do you free yourself up so that way you have more people doing it in other words how do you keep from getting bogged down into doing all of the hands-on stuff for yourself is that right yep and then the other problem we've talked about is when you do have to do it yourself and you don't have another way out it kind of turns you into a control freak yeah and so you want to do it without becoming this control freak who keeps everybody dependent on you and you never develop independent leaders because your goal is develop independent leaders right yep and you've noticed all of these these things so has so this has been a frustrating thing for you in in dealing with it as far as you go and so if we cover this and we do this right you're going to walk away from this with exactly what we're going to spend the next few minutes together this is an intro right here all we're doing is kind of laying the the groundwork but if we do this right what are you going to walk away from what's going to make this successful for you exactly you know exactly what are you looking for yeah getting uh, some insight and a game plan on how how you did it so that way i could implement and and have the same growth process so and it's basically everybody has got will wind up doing it their own way 
But the deal is when you're stuck in the thing, you need some clues, some ideas, some clues on how it's been done before, some insights on what's important, what's not important, to allow you to kind of figure out how you're going to apply that in your own arena, right? Yep. Okay, let's see if we can get into that. That's what we're going to do. And those of y'all that want to watch the follow-up, that's what we'll be doing.